Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad you could join us as we study out God's promises. And we have a memory verse, it's Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Hope you guys are practicing those memory verses and studying out God's promises. Let's jump into some singing. Come fill my cup, up let it overflow. Come fill my cup, up let it overflow. Come fill my cup, up let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Come fill my cup. Up, let it overflow, can fill my cup. Up, let it overflow, can fill my cup. Up, let it overflow, let it overflow with love. One more time. Fill my cup. Okay, we're done. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiworks too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiworks too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. Me, Carl. And welcome to Grow TV. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey everyone, we're so glad to see you today, aren't we Carl? Yep, couldn't be happier. Alright, so today we have a very special story, don't we Carl? We sure do. Come on plant, show me something! Grow! Hey Carl. What's up? Maybe it's just me, but I don't feel like you're very focused today. What do you mean? Well, I feel like you're not really paying attention and you're just like really fixated on that plant. Mm-hmm. Did you hear what I just said? Of course. What did I say then? You said elephants are kind of cool, but they kind of stink too. But whatever, elephants can be themselves if they want to. What? No. What's going on, Carl? Well, it's my mamma's birthday this Saturday. And for her birthday, I wanted to get her a plant. The biggest plant she's ever had. So when I went to the store, this is the only one that they had. But they did tell me that it will eventually grow up and become really beautiful. But it's just taking forever. Ah, that makes sense now. I mean, I believe them when they say it's going to be big and beautiful, but I think it needs one thing. I know, I know. Sun and water. I've given that, but still nothing. No, I had another idea that might help. You do? Tell me! Cassie, please tell me! I need to know! Well, first I want to tell you our story of the day. I can't wait, Cassie! The birthday is next week! What does it need? So need motivation? I want you to grow right now. Plant, grow big for me. You can do it, I believe in you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Does it need soothing music? Come on, plant, I believe in you. 
Let the smooth jazz overcome you and grow now. Does it need protein? Come on, come on, plant. I think these Oreo cookies have a lot of protein in them. You can do it. Bro. Does it need an inspirational movie? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Barbies don't have wings. I can't think of anything. Well, maybe the story of Joseph will help. Who's Joseph? Do you name a plant named Joseph? No, Joseph from the Bible. Oh. Still no idea. All right, well, a long time ago, there was a father who had many sons, and one of the sons was Joseph, and Joseph was very special. Did he have, like, really good hearing or something? I don't think so. Can he speak to animals? I don't think so. Could he talk to How about I finish the story, and we can ask the questions after? Sounds good. So one day, when Joseph was a kid, he had a really strange dream that all of his brothers would bow down to him, and he would be a ruler. And you can imagine his brothers didn't like that. I bet. So what happened next? Well, the brothers were so jealous of Joseph that they threw him into a pit. Well, did they get him out of there? Why would anyone treat someone like that? I wish I could say they helped him, but they didn't. In fact, they did something even worse. Joseph's brothers decided to pull him out of the pit and sell him to merchants passing by. That is horrible. It is horrible. People should never be sold and his brothers did it for a measly 20 shekels of silver. Everything is going wrong. How can this ever go right? Well, Joseph was forced to work as a slave in Egypt for many years. He did okay and was finding a way to survive in a new culture that wasn't his own. But then bam, he was put in jail for something he didn't do. But you know what? What? Joseph eventually made his way into becoming the second most powerful leader in Egypt. Even his brothers would one day come to Egypt and find themselves bowing down to him. Just like his dream. Exactly. God promised him something, and it took years to actually come true. Wow, that's really cool. I guess it's hard to wait that long. True, but God's promises are worth it, and God knows what's best for us. You're right. So the plant may take a while to grow. I guess that's okay. Some things take time. God's promises might take time. Whoa. Whoa, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is God's promises might take time. On the count of three, say it out loud, okay? One, two, two three. three. God's promises might take time. Woohoo! They sure might. <laughs> but good job. So are you okay with your plant growing slowly? Yeah. My mama will love it, even if it takes a little longer to grow. Good. Plus, you can always buy her chocolate. She loves chocolate. That's true. But she's also very lactose intolerant, so she might fart a lot. <laughs> That's all, kids. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. So last week we learned about how God's promises are for now and for later. And this week, we're learning that sometimes God's promises take time. They don't happen right away. And that's evident in the story of Joseph. So Joseph had a lot of brothers. A lot of them. He had 11, in fact. And he was his dad's favorite because he was born to his dad in his old age. And so his dad gave him a special colorful coat that only he got. Not his brothers. So his brothers were already pretty jealous of Joseph. Then Joseph had a dream. You guys ever had a dream that felt so real that when you woke up, you couldn't quite remember if it had happened or not? Yeah, well, God used to talk to people in dreams and he was talking to Joseph. He actually gave him two dreams. The first dream was that they were sheaving grain in the field and Joseph stood right up and all of his brothers bowed down to him. And then he had another dream that the sun and the moon and 11 stars all bowed down to him. And his dream was telling his brothers, one day you're gonna bow down to me. And those were the dreams that God gave him. Those were the promises that God made to him. But his brothers did not like hearing about those dreams. They were so angry that Joseph thought he was better than them. That one day when they were out tending sheep and Joseph came along, 
they hatched a plan. They were going to throw him in a well and kill him. And do you know how scared Joseph probably was when they threw him in that cistern? They ended up not. They ended up selling him, right, as a slave to Egypt. But Joseph didn't know what was happening. All he knew was that God had sent those dreams to him, those promises. But here he was in a deep, dark hole. These dreams and these promises were not coming true. And they were not happening yet. Can you imagine how it felt sitting in that dark hole praying to God? asking for help, calling to his brothers, and not quite understanding why it was happening. Sometimes life can be like that. We can feel like we're in a deep, dark hole, or we don't understand why these things are happening. They're not good things. They're hard things, and sometimes they're sad things. And we know that God promised many things, right? Pro God promises to work for the good, Right? He promises to give us the desires of our hearts. But sometimes it doesn't feel like that's what's happening. Sometimes God's promises don't happen immediately. We have to wait and be faithful and trust that God is using these situations to get us to where we need to be. To get us to the place of his promise. It would be a great idea to sit down with the adults in your life and talk about have things ever looked dark or scary or sad? And what promises can we find in the Bible to cling to during those times? What does God's word say? Right? What promise did he make to us that we know will come true because God keeps all his promises? Our memory verse tells us that not a single one of God's promises to the house of Israel fell. All of them came true, right? He kept all his promises, just like he will keep all his promises to us. So sit down, talk to the adults in your life, go through the Bible, find the promises to cling to when it looks dark, when it looks scary and sad. And that way, when you see the light and later, when God's promises come true in your life, you can look back and remember it looked dark, but God kept his promise because God always keeps his promises. See you guys next week. Let us pray. God, thank you that your promises can get us through. Thank you that when things look dark or scary or sad or hard, that we have your promises to cling to and that we can always trust you to fulfill your promises. We love you so much and pray all this in your son's name. Amen.